Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. And just a quick one. Um, been playing around with some of the new features in Blender 4, particularly uh, geometry nodes tools. And I haven't really dived deep on geometry nodes before. I did in the early stages before they changed it and I made a building generator and then they changed everything and it broke, so I uh, kind of gave up in a huff and haven't looked at it since. So, just quickly, I've built this really simple mesh and added a few modifiers, a couple of bevel modifiers, and I've just cube unwrapped it. Um, and I just want to show you um, how quickly um, you can block something cool out. So let's say, let's just add a cube here. And let's add all of the um let's just leave that there for now now last night i followed a tutorial online i'll pop a um a link to the tutorial and i made my circular array uh modifier which isn't in blender by default there's there's workarounds but uh, this works really well so i'm gonna turn that on and what we've got here is a circular array and I've exposed all of these parameters so we can increase the radius. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit my object by face. Uh, SY. And get those to be all touching. And then we'll just edit this face to have them like that. And then let's maybe add a bevel to this as well before the circular array let's apply our scale and we'll just leave it like that we'll probably bring the bevel in a little bit and we've got some kind of steps so that's cool we've got a circular array and now we can um, add a circular array to this statue and what I've done on my circular array is I've you can either take this back down to 16 or you can exclude every other one and get something like that. Um, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And let's duplicate this. Bring it down on the Z. And we don't even need to scale it out. We can just scale the radius out and increase the count. So we're getting the same size rather than um, scaling. We're getting the same size of steps. And we can even change our rotation axis. We don't really need to in this case. We've built something up. All the steps are a consistent size. Uh, we've got our pillars in the middle. Then we can just maybe bring a cylinder um, into the middle, just scale it, and that can be our floor, but what we should have done is brought a cylinder in and up this to like, I don't know, 64, now even 128, so that when we do scale it, it's not too chunky, and that's our floor, we can inset that slightly so then we can duplicate this one up and bring it up here we can edit the scale of our model and as you can see we're really quickly building up a scene so this model took me i don't know five minutes to make and then i just mirrored it added a couple of bevel modifiers and then what's really cool about this Okay, so as we can actually stack um, the circular array. So let's just go into isolated mode and let's just shift D. Oh no, wrong one. Shift D over there. And as you can see, we've stacked that. So let's bring the count into like i don't know 16 
change the alignment of the second one or we can even other align this so we can start to build shapes so let's go eight and i don't know 16 and bring that up uh, let's see if we can find a shape that we like increase the radius okay and so these are all instances right now so there's not that many tries but we can actually make it real and you'll notice that the try count goes up and let's bring our counts up on each of these so they're kind of touching i think something like that's kind of cool okay so let's come out of isolated mode and we can just scale the whole thing in okay so if we go into lit mode obviously we haven't got materials on everything yet so what we can do here is we've just got this model and i actually created some geometry nodes tools so if we go into geometry nodes if you watched my other video we've got remesh even and remesh optimal so i think what we'll do we'll go back into layout mode and we're going to go we actually need to apply the modifiers with the exception of the circular array so i've just applied my uh modifiers and what we'll do now is we'll go remesh uh, optimal okay and we can see these ones here let's just get a bit of mat cap um i feel like this might show us what's going on so you can see that there is some artifacts here so we've got our sliders down here so if we just bring this threshold down uh that brings the artifacts up so we'll go threshold up okay and then we'll bring our adaptivity up 0.25 Okay, and what we're getting here is we're getting some kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit janky, but it's um, giving us some, I don't know, making these look more weathered or something like that, because this might just be a background asset and you might want to not have a lot of time to spend on it. Um, so you're just making a background asset. So let's commit to that. Okay, we've got that there. And what we can do, we can apply the modifiers to all of these. Make real, make real, apply all, and apply all. Okay, then we can join them together. Okay, so that's cool. And then go into edit mode, and with our remesh, uh, let's like try remesh even for this one. Actually, let's try remesh optimal for this one. And let's make our resolution higher. Our threshold lower, 0 0.01 maybe. Or 0.35. There we go. And adaptivity, 0 0.001. Okay, so we can commit to that. And then we've got it. We've got these... Um, stairs there's a little bit of artifacting here we can um you could fix that in sculpt mode or you could work with your voxel mesh settings more so let's uh just join these two together uh, let's apply the modifiers uh, make that real and apply all and we've already made that real and apply all and let's just join these two together and shade smooth and let's see if our remesh even is going to work. And let's 1024. And threshold 2. There we go. And we've got something cool there. And now that we've got that, we can uh, remesh optimal. To lower the poly count and 
1024. And as you can see, this is all live until you commit it. And then we could do something like, I don't know. Let's just uh, get our lasso tool and select these verts. And let's turn on proportional editing with a sphere. And as you can see, we've built up something really quick. Um, you may need to go into sculpting mode to smooth some of these things out. Um, and you could even turn on radial symmetry. Get our crease brush in there. Smoothing some of these out. Material mode. Bring that down. Let's apply the material that I previously had on here. Old concrete. Let's do a uh, cube projection, scale that up, and another cube projection, and scale that up. Let's link our materials. But I don't know. We very quickly built something looking ancient. Um, could be a prop for a video game or, or something like that. Um, you know, walking around something like that, you may not notice, uh, that the topology is not like the greatest or anything like that. Um, but overall, I think we've succeeded, um, in making something pretty quickly and pretty complex. And let's just go back over and um just hide all of this and let's just bring in a i don't know a, um a cone okay and then let's add our geometry nodes circular array we can change the axis of this we can duplicate it Okay, and just remember that these are all instances until you do something crazy. So we could bring the scale in on something or we could, um, I don't know, make something like this, which just looks bloody hectic. And... Shade auto smooth, shade auto smooth. Just stick a cool mat cap on here for a second. Yeah. And you can bring the countdown. Bring this to a two and then we, and then we can just duplicate another one on. Bring this to a one. And you're getting some pretty crazy, you know, increase the diameter. Decrease the diameter. Increase the diameter. Could change this one to... And look at that. We've just with this node group, we're able to create something really crazy and cool like that. And I just think that's amazing. So that's, who knows what that could be. And you could obviously, you can go into edit mode. You could delete the cone. And you could bring in a, I don't know, an icosphere with, 
one subdivisions and you've got some kind of crystalline structure um, and you could add a subdivision surface this might crash the computer no because we're not and put that up there make the scale like I don't know 1.5 on the first one shade smooth who knows what that is but it's cool and we could add some light to it and go inside it and fly around crazy stuff all right thanks for watching guys i just thought that would be like a cool cool little thing to show you and i, I think this looks really cool as well and um geometry nodes are great and I, i'm really excited to see what more i can get out of it and what more i can do with it so thanks heaps for watching and see you in the next one